Look, before we get into this video, I'm going to be incredibly transparent with you guys. This is going to be one of the more critical reviews I have ever done on any footwear in my life. Today feels like the best day to do this review because the lighting is absolutely perfect today. Welcome back, everybody. Glad to have you here. I am Nikki for the More HK Smash YouTube channel, and today I have the pleasure of reviewing and talking to you about the Salehi Bamburi Pollux Clog in the Urchin colorway. I'm actually very excited to talk about this shoe, and you guys might catch me saying sneaker or shoe. I understand it's a clog. Clog. I'm just gonna slip up a lot, so I'll try to catch myself as much as I can. Now, you know I can't start this video off until I say thank you to all those TikTok followers that come out to the YouTube videos. You guys already see this stuff before it hits the YouTube channel, so if you guys are coming over to watch this review from TikTok, make sure you let me know in the comment section. So now let me tell you what's on the menu today. You guys know I like to keep things simple around here. I'm gonna talk about the design of the shoe. I'm gonna give you guys a backstory on why I purchased the shoe. I'm gonna give you a on-foot look, talk about the sizing, the comfort level, and I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts on whether or not this is a good purchase for you. Let me give you guys the backstory on this shoe. Clog. It's a clog. Now, if there's one thing you guys got to know about me and my age demographic is that I was old enough to remember that these particular clogs were only sold exclusively at mall kiosks. I would probably laugh at you. 15 years ago, you told me that it was difficult. It would be difficult to get yourself a pair of Crocs. I'd laugh in your face. And you guys know the struggle I went through just to try to get these damn things. As I've gotten older, I have expanded my horizons. I've opened my mind to try other shoes because there's not just Adidas and Nike. There's plenty, plenty of other sneakers out there that are really incredible and deserve the hype that they deserve. You guys know that I like my shoes to not only have good style, I love high quality material, and of course, comfort. That is the trifecta when it comes to the way I like to make my purchases. If it looks good on foot, but it's not comfortable, there's a good chance I'm not gonna buy it. I have always been prioritizing comfort. With this particular shoe, Clog, I figured I was hitting a home run. I was getting a design that looked really good. And based on my own research and feedback that I've gotten from my peers, Crocs in general are very comfortable. And I felt like it was time for me to give this shoe a try. Not only am I a fan of Salehi Bamburi and the designs that he's been putting out with New Balance, it's the summertime, the weather's beautiful, and it seems like foam shoes and clogs are in right now. So after taking countless L's, across multiple raffles, I decided to pick up this pair from GOAT. And fortunately for me, I actually had a credit from a pair of shoes that I sold a couple of months ago. So this shoe actually only cost me about $89, which by the way, these shoes have an $85 retail price point on them, which I think is relatively high for a pair of foam shoes. And don't get me started on the foam runners. We're going to talk about that a little bit later too. Now, yes, my expectations for this clog were very, very high. Based on all the feedback that I've gotten, based on my own research that I've done, I felt like I was going to get a shoe that not only looked awesome, it's going to be comfortable on foot. As soon as I put it on my foot, I was disappointed. The exoskeleton of the Pollux clog is actually Slade Maburi's thumbprint, which I absolutely love that small detail. Could you imagine wearing these to the beach and then every step you take, you're leaving behind somebody's thumbprint? I, I think that's actually really, really cool. And that was like one of the driving reasons why I wanted to get this shoe was to have a closer look at a design like that, because you can kind of appreciate that. Now, why was I disappointed? It was the sizing. Sizing was the biggest disappointment for me. I even went a full size down. You guys know I wear a true to size 10, so I ended up getting a size nine and even then i felt like my foot was really sliding around in there now like any standard croc clog you do get your strap which allows you to wear it in comfort mode or in sport mode for a more secure fit and i found that even going down a full size and wearing it in sport mode i kind of felt like i was still having a little bit too much room inside the clog and that was a big disappointment for me i wanted it to be comfortable on my foot uh, i really wanted the shoe to fit more snug and i was expecting a much more comfortable fit on my foot so the sizing was not all there for me so if you are on the fence about getting this clog, make sure you at the very least go down one full size. I might even argue that if you're looking for a more secured fit, go down two sizes. I cannot necessarily co-sign that idea just because I haven't been able to find myself a pair for a reasonable price that's two sizes down. I would say buy at your own risk, but at the very least go down one size. All right, now let's talk about the comfort. I think in my mind, based on what people were telling me about how comfortable they were and having an opportunity to own multiple pairs of foam runners, I was expecting a foam clog or a foam slip on to feel similar to what the foam runner has to offer. I did not get that. Now, I know some people might say it's unfair to compare the two, but I want to explain where my thought process was when I put those shoes on. It's a clog. Now, when we're comparing the foam runners to the Crocs, they're both a foam design. However, with the Crocs, it is a significantly 
thinner foam design. So you're certainly not getting as much cushion on the Crocs compared to the foam runners. So when I put the clog on and I felt that I was not necessarily getting the fit that I was looking for, I was expecting it to be a little bit softer, a little bit more forgiving on the foot. Now, I'm not saying that the clogs in general are uncomfortable because they're not. I was just expecting something a little bit more forgiving and I just didn't get that with these. And I think the most common question that people ask is how do these compare to the foam runners? The short answer is the foam runners are significantly more comfortable. And if you guys want me to talk more about foam runners in another video, I'll be more than happy to do that. Just let me know in the comment section. But if you're looking for something that is lightweight and breathable, I think these are a great option. But if you also want something that is significantly more forgiving on your foot, I don't necessarily think that these are going to solve that problem for you, whereas the foam runners can do that. And considering the foam runners are essentially being restocked and you know we're getting different colors all the time you're more likely to get foam runners before you can get these now i know salehi and crocs had teased us with a slew of new colorways of this design so if you are looking to get a different colorway just wait and i've been wearing this clog around my apartment for about a week or so and i've been doing basic stuff with it throwing them on and taking out the trash walk around my neighborhood just to get outside and i've been using them in place of my yeezy slides which i normally wear around my apartment anyway a and it actually has been fine it's really not that bad i wouldn't even say so much that the shoe was growing on me i'm just giving it a fair opportunity since i was so disappointed in the beginning i wanted to make sure that i fully understood what the clog had to offer going back to the comfort of the shoe in a little bit more detail i do think that wearing it with socks is the best choice i have worn it a couple of times without socks and my feet tend to sweat a little bit but i kind of got this feeling that my feet were sticking to the inside and it was kind of hard to take them off and i didn't really like that very much i don't even do that with foam runners i always wear socks with them and based on all the different images that i've seen over the past couple weeks from salehi himself and all the other people that have gotten their hands on this clog they've all worn them the same way with socks now between the crocodile the stratus and the urchin colorways i do feel that i have the best colorway of the three it really does look great on foot i mean i i think it's very unique and i think it's fun to wear and considering this is my first croc that i've ever owned i was simply not entirely impressed with it now for 85 bucks i don't think it's terribly unfair of a price point however i cannot justify the cost in the aftermarket right now so i'd say if you missed out on the retail drops i would suggest waiting for a restock or waiting for new colorways to come out Overall, I don't think it's been that terrible of an experience. I'm glad I spent the last week or two actually wearing it, trying it out. I still plan on going to Disney with our friend Leroy to actually wear them for a full day of, you know, doing some kind of activity with them. But if you want a unique design shoe to wear for the summer that's breathable and it just looks really cool, look no further. Now, let's kind of tie this all together. If you're looking for a more secured fit, definitely go down at one full size and wear them in sport mode. Don't forget to wear them with socks. If you decide to go true to size, wear a thicker sock. If you're expecting these to feel similar to the foam runner, I'd hate to break it to you, but you're not going to get that same experience. But if you're looking for something that is breathable, lightweight, some unique colors and design, this is what you got. Now, if you ended up hitting on these shoes for retail or if you decide to buy them in the aftermarket, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you actually think of them. And before I send you guys on your way, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I am streaming on YouTube Gaming over on the main YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. So if you guys want to come chop it up with me, talk about sneakers or video games, that's where I'll be. And if you're only into sneakers and talking about shoes, you're in the right place. And if you want to stay in the right place, make sure you hit that thumbs up button under the video and also subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified when another video hits the feed. As always, I appreciate you guys for being here and I'll see you guys in the next sneaker review.